Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Trend Trader with a quick update on Bitcoin. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you it's not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please do your own research and trade responsibly. All right, so we got the uh, exact move up that we talked about. Uh, we had basically said already that, uh, you know, this close uh, consolidation here outside of the top of our orange uh, channel that we have been oscillating inside of, with the exception of this little poke out right here. Uh, we have been getting squeezed in between the uh, top of the orange channel and the bottom of the yellow channel into this little uh, pattern down here. And as it was getting tighter and tighter and tighter, uh, we had said that we expected it to break out to the upside as the entire market uh, was extremely bearish. Uh, it did. It broke out to the upside. Uh, as soon as we got the breakout right here and consolidation, uh, we said that we expected it to move up to the top of the range, uh, like 94.50. Uh, to 9600 uh, we got the initial move up here and a lot of people got bearish it was topping out uh, but all it was doing was just consolidating for uh to regain the remaining strength uh, we got up to the top of the range now we got the exact move like we said where we get the hard sell signal after the consolidation range but now what i'm expecting to happen is we failed to actually ever cross the blue back above so we never even got like the cross back to the upside to where we could get rejected again it looks like we're already getting ready to sell off now so what i would expect to happen in this case is us to come down here to the 91 96 9200 range or back down to the heart line uh but essentially you know the the move has happened and now we're going to see what happens off of the move uh we took profits on our long trade uh here at the top of the range uh, this has been extremely, extremely predictable and uh, uh, easy to play price action uh, throughout this range. It's been constant 5% moves in either direction. Uh, and if you were playing altcoins, uh, the moves were extrapolated times that as well. So, uh, But essentially, we are basically in this right here. We're doing this exact same thing right here. We got the consolidation or the... Uh, let me get rid of all this real quick. Uh, we got this uh, distribution range, the red area through here. And then we came out of the distribution range, got that little quick back to no uh, background color. And then we got the hard sell, at which point in time we got a massive dump out of this area. Here you'll see the exact same thing. We got the distribution range all through here, continue to move up. Uh, we now have put in, you know, you can see where the blue is at right here and you see where the blue is at right here. So now there's a massive divergence between price action and the indicator. Uh, we've put in the exact same signature now. Um, the distribution zone followed by the hard sell signal. So now what I would expect to happen right here is like maybe one more push up and then a massive sell back down uh, to the 9200 or lower depending on how much strength. But, uh, you know, to tell you the truth without jumping ship too far here, you know, the strength in traditional markets and basically like everything, uh, including like even real estate has stayed strong, you know, gold, silver, like all traditional stock market with the except exception of things like airlines and you know junk like that um you know basically everything is showing strength but crypto but Bit bitcoin and that makes me like real skeptical because you know essentially like this you know if all markets are moving up and there's a bunch of money being produced like that's a strong fundamental reason why bitcoin should be going up and it's not so you know maybe this isn't distribution taking place uh maybe this accumulation taking place and at some point in time you know this is essentially like the river of the accumulation wyckoff pattern and it eventually will like break out and jump over the river and essentially invalidate this pattern and move to the upside but i don't see any reason why that's going to happen it doesn't seem likely to me so you know you can argue fundamentals as much as you want but i'm just going to look at the chart and tell you what that says and the chart to me tells me we look like we're about to do this right here we're accumulating at the top of the range or, or distributing uh, basically like um, after the move up and then we're going to sell back off and probably put in a new low, you know, a lower low. So, you know, if you want to, based on however you're looking at this, whatever time frame you're on, essentially like, you know, price action was selling off like semi-violently in this orange uh, pattern going down. And then it sort of leveled off in this yellow pattern right here. So if we can come down now and essentially just find support here again, um, but stay inside of the yellow pattern now and not go back inside the orange one, eventually we'll have basically like broken out of the orange and now we're in the yellow. And all that really means is, is that now we're respecting this yellow more. We're respecting like the trend lines uh, more, but essentially that the slope of the sell-off or the downtrend itself is less 
So it was intense right here. Now it's less intense. So what I would expect to happen next is it levels off and then the slope continues to move back to the upside. In which case, like I said, this would look like Wyckoff accumulation and not distribution. But until that happens, I'm going to continue to assume that it's going to respect these trend lines here. So even though we basically broke out of the orange, which was the strongest one at the time, we now come up to the yellow. So often what will happen is we'll come back down to the heart line, which is the green right here of the yellow. And then we'll also tag the orange right here, the top of it. And we'll essentially like see, can we hold that now as support and then move back up to the top, consolidate, and then actually break out of the range, potentially even come up like higher in here and retest the breakdown here. But as far as I'm concerned, this still looks bearish to me like long term price action. And also you'll see we have like the blue slope all through here. We flip over the histogram red and then sell off and then red all through there. We blue through here, flip over red. We get another push up of the green. We build that divergence down here. And then now here we are red again. So eventually we're going to come down here. And if we sell off, we'll flip that slope back over red and get that move back down to the to the downside like we were saying. And now let's switch over to the daily chart. Uh, here on the daily, all we did basically was, uh, you know, we essentially came down here, found support on the 8 and the 21. And we're very close to getting that cross back to the upside. Um, but we're also dragging down the parabolic SAR on the daily as well. So if we come up as high as 9,600, like I was saying before, um, we can tag that parabolic SAR, flip it back over green, and then, uh, you know, see where that leads us. And then going back to the weekly, uh, same thing we said. We basically just found support on this 55 for the last one, two, three, four weeks, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, and then another 10 weeks on top of that, um, you know, just staying above that 55. So as long as we hold that 55 long enough, I think this is what's going to happen. We'll get picked up by the 55 long enough, and then we get a push back up to the upside and attempt for continuation, you know. And that's what's happening now. We hold the 55 long enough, we get a push back up. But if we can't get above this range right here, if we can't get above that previous uh, weekly close there at uh, 10, 167, uh, you know, on the weekly time frame, it's just going to be another in a series of lower highs. And remember right here, this was the high, and then we got the same high, double top, sell off. And then when we came in here, we put in a lower high, and then everybody got super excited right here and said, oh, we're putting in a higher high. We're moving to the upside. This is an uptrend. And I said, no, you have to be careful because what happened here is this is all part of one move. This is one move down, and then we put in a low. So that's our high, that's our low, and then we come here again and we put in a lower high. So yes, this high is higher than this high, but that's not a new high higher than that. That's part of this single move. So we came down here high to low, and then we come back up high to low. So we put in a high, we put in a low, we put in a lower high, we put in a lower low. So now if we come back up here again and we do the same thing again and we put in our high through this area and then sell back off, I would expect this to be a high, a lower high, another lower high, a low, another low, another lower low. You know, at which point in time we would essentially be losing the 200s. Now, if we come down here, I don't think we're just going to dump straight down and get another one of these unless the traditional stock market crashes, unless there's some like crazy catalyst again for a sell off like, you know, World War Three or, you know, a resurgence of the virus, you know, worse than ever or the Fed, you know, loses control, like whatever it is, it's got to be some massive catalyst for like traditional markets to get a sell off like this to correspond again. Otherwise, I think it would be more likely like stair step type uh, price action like that over time, as people are like unable to speculate, um, you know, as much as they would like on assets and have to focus more on like, you know, hard bills like rent and mortgage and food and stuff like that. So uh, but there you have it. That's my honest opinion, guys. I mean, it looks like we're getting ready for, uh, you know, this sell-off to come in. We've been expecting it for some time, so uh, it's not going to be some surprise. Uh, we basically have called out all this price action uh, exactly through this range. Um, back through here, I mean, we said the 377 and the 528 were the key points of interest. Anybody that took this trade here, this trade here, or this trade here, con congratulations. I mean, that was the trade to take, basically. Um, and that's exactly why we use these moving averages. Um, you're going to see that, you know, we come down specifically to these exact points on the moving averages. We stop at exact points on the moving averages, find support on them. There's a reason I use all this stuff, and there's a reason I provide it all for you guys for free. And for those of you that do take the time uh, to show your support, 
support in the comments. I do truly appreciate that. And for those of you that, uh, you know, d donate or, uh, you know, contribute to the uh, channel, I appreciate that as well uh, as it does, uh, you know, it shows, shows that you actually care and you do appreciate uh, all the free indicators and everything that I've designed and uh, given out to the community. I do want to focus real quick while I do have the uh, the moving averages and the SAR and everything up. Uh, we did just like I said too. Uh, we were able to come down here and tag that parabolic SAR and flip it over red now. So now we flipped. This was our green uptrend right here. And now we flipped it back to the downtrend right here. Um, which essentially like what we'd expect to happen is just the same thing to happen again. You know, come back down, retest these uh, this lower area, look for support, and then see... Uh, you know see where where we find that support at so if we were to sell off right here now you know we have basically this cluster of moving averages cluster of support through here uh, but we just have to see what holds up and obviously like longer time frame moving averages and longer time frame like parabolic SAR etc is going to be like more influential over price action but at this point in time all it looks like is it looks like we try to cross this back over to the upside got rejected and now we're selling off so even if we did find some support here and attempted to move it back up one more time uh, you know we're just going to find resistance all through this area here and probably just get one more of them stabs and then another sell off and I think all that's happening right here is we're just getting ready for this right here and it won't be long before we get another one of these massive red uh, lightsabers come in and uh, wreck everybody's portfolio again because I hear everybody saying again uh, you know 10 fours in the cards 12,000 14,000 new highs and uh, there's nothing absolutely nothing in the technical analysis uh, that is signaling that to me whatsoever so and uh, you know careful of all these people flip-flopping their ideas and their views and uh, everything every single day because uh, that's all I see is every time we get to the top of the range everybody gets bullish every time we get to the bottom of the range everybody gets bearish and uh, that's the exact opposite of what you should be doing uh, we should have been getting bullish all through the bottom area right here like I said and we should be getting bearish all through here at the top areas just like I said so uh, when we get this next uh, massive series of red candles coming in and selling off and then we're back down here uh, at our key support areas and everybody's getting extremely bearish again uh, just remember that your boy is always one step ahead of the market and everybody else is one step behind and i'd rather have you guys on my team than uh, lagging around wondering what happened to your portfolio and your wallet so uh, crypto trend trader uh, expecting that sell-off uh, in the very near future in the event that we do get consolidation here and then breakout consolidation, uh, my next target is going to be the retest of this white trend line here and the previous channel that we were inside of uh, for a long period of time. Um, but if we cannot get back inside this channel and start finding support, um, I'm not going to get bullish whatsoever. And I'm just going to, you know, assume that this is going to continue to play out uh, as it has been doing so. So there you have it, guys. Crypto Trend Trader. And I'm out of here.